Okay. So, what's her face liked jam? I have to learn combat before I find the monolith, I feel like. So, we'll do that. I need to get a sword. And these are just things I need to get. So let me make this stew and see if she likes it. So, I need a tomato, a cabbage, and a basil. Hold the sharp implement down, swipe left and right. I hate the chopping in this. It drives me nuts. I need to get used to it better. So that's the cabbage. How, okay, I only need to slide the tomatoes into fourths. Is there anything else I need? Like, I don't, I don't get this part. Survival crafting games in general. Uh, eh, I wouldn't say, it's, it's got some similarities to Graveyard Keeper. I don't understand that portion. Flatulence, barter, and stamina. Like, my, my minigame performance is, it's making things worse. And I don't know how to do better. <sighs> Have I tried just doing better? I have. Uh, it didn't really work out for me. Okay, we'll see what today is. Today is the goods market, so I'm gonna try and sell some stuff. I don't know that that's really, I haven't done that before. Showed a timer for each ingredient. Did I put them in at the proper time? No, but like that, it wasn't like explained. I don't know, I feel like the teaching of the mini game was not as thorough as it should have been. I need to feed the, the pigs. Oh, and I need to give an offering to the thing. Gen Z needs everything explained to them. I'm not Gen Z, though. We didn't have tutorials and we liked it. I mean, I don't mind not having a tutorial. I just... it. I don't know. It's just kind of weird. Like, I'm not... doing well in it. I wonder what things I can even sell at the market. Carrot seeds. Yeah, I mean, you're selling them for the same price that they are when you do the traveling trader. That's weed seeds. I don't need more because I can't plant them this season. They're out of season. It's my sibling. I used to think that this is why you ran away. Because of what happened here at the Summertide Festival. Now it turns out it was Fae magic that took you, but it was still your decision, wasn't it? That's how it works with the Fae. You have to be the one that says yes. At first I hated Uncle Bill for letting Aunt Rose die like this, but they both really believed in this stuff. Everybody does. So I don't know, maybe they're right. What I'm trying to say is I hated you for a while too, for leaving me. But maybe that's why I, the way it was supposed to be. So I'm glad you're back and that you're all right. But I've got my own life now, finally exploring the rest of Quill like I always wanted. Who knows? Maybe we'll run into each other again one day. Goodbye. Goodbye, brother. That's like a game that you can play, but it's like expensive. 
open stand for how many hours? I guess five? Because I've got like hella... Oh, I can only sell food? I can't sell the dandelions that I found? Well, that's kind of ass. Um... I don't really need more pond lurkers. Okay, we made some money. Hmm. Okay. Are these mine? Like, I can get these as well? Because nobody lives there? There was somebody that wanted a bunch of strawberries. There were two people that wanted a bunch of strawberries and blueberries. Oh, look, it's her. Um, I gave her jam last time and she liked it, so I'll give her jam again now. Best to use a good sharp stick on boogeyman fungus. Get a good clean cut or else you end up covered in plant snot. I just like bargains, me. <laughs> Honestly, me. <laughs> okay, that's the apothecary. I don't really want that now. Oh, hi there, Rando! What's going on? Alright. So... I have enough tin to give to What's-Her-Face as well. So who was the person that wanted all of the tin? Um... I don't have 31 blueberries. This person wanted all the tin. Um... Teresa Brown. Her house is this way. I think. Right? Suffering from insomnia. How are you? Oh no! Oh, I'm sorry. That's ass. She's in Candlewitch West, isn't she? Yeah, yeah. She's over here. I thought so. I just had to check. I'm only struggling with sleep because my cats keep waking me up, mostly. I love them, but fuck. <laughs> they always want to get pets in the middle of the night and I'm like bro I'm busy I haven't introduced myself to Teresa Green this is Teresa Green oh what seeds does she want I don't know but this is the place I was supposed to fucking water Um, where's Teresa Brown? That's the kettle house. This is the brown house. Um, there's a baby. There's also books in the house I haven't read. Uh, pointless collectible or great design? A guide to catching insects. <laughs> They're probably a pointless collectible. Let's talk about insects. Five types of collectible flappy small creatures. Bees, fireflies, wis wisps, moths, and butterflies. Some only appear at night, some gather by light, and different types can be found in different regions. Gotta catch all of them in some sort of collection. Hmm, let's think of a catchier phrase for that. <laughs> There's actually not that much point to such a collection unless somewhere in the future someone creates a dye-making machine. Okay. Oh, I can introduce myself to the baby. I am definitely your father. How are you? 
Yep, for sure your father. Uh, the Fey Realms, Volume 1. Turninog is the first of the Fey Realms and home to the Pyrkin. They say it's a land pulsing roots, twisting trees, oversized flowers, and glowing pools of sweet water. It's a land of laughter, nectar, good cheer, and color. The fair folk that live there flit and twirl and dash amongst the strange flora and make merry pranks as they chitter and fr fritter and flatter and fly. They say any man who steps in the realm and bathes in the azure waters has his heart refreshed and his love renewed. They say it never rains there, which is probably good as many Pyrkin homes are made of gingerbread. This is not confirmed. <laughs> the sign of Turn and Nog is three circles together. Some say these represent the three tenets of Pyrkin, love, laughter, and shopping. <laughs> Me. A wise scholar, my mom, thinks they represent the binding of the realms. Turn and Nog, the human realm, known as Yeaster, and the home of the goddesses, Opal. How does one reach such a fantastical place? They say there are doorways in the human realm that need a magical light shown upon them. They are said to be for fey realms. There are said to be four fey realms, and each has their own stone doorway, standing silently in a circle. Tread up the center of that circle, and they call to you. Yeah, so those are the little... circly things. Which, yeah, that, that's what they are for my lantern. Where is Teresa? Teresa, you dumb bitch. I've got stuff for you. Why didn't you bite my bait, fish? Come on. Help a girl out. Bastards. Where's Teresa? There she is. Thanks. Spot on. So she gives me 66 money. And now I have five more rep for doing that. Now, she wanted seven cabbage seed. Don't I have that, though? I only have four. Okay, it's still market day, isn't it? Or is it closed now? Because I could go buy more cabbage seed and give it to her. It's closed. Damn it. I'll get it eventually. Um, let's see. I still don't know where these are. Um, 14 blueberries, 18 strawberries. I do have that, actually. Barely. Um, John bows um where does he stay i don't even know who that is i don't remember what that guy looks like at all uh oh the guy with the purple hair uh he lives uh by the cat lady yeah i think I almost have enough money to fucking buy one of the shops. That's cool. He lives, like, here, doesn't he? Isn't this his house? I think this is his house. Yeah, he's right there! Hell yeah. Hey, bro. There you go. Perfect. Nice one. Oh, we're friendly now. Maybe I should marry him. I like the cat lady, though.
And five more rep. Hail ye. He dislikes strawberries. Well, you fucking asked for them, bro. What you fucking want from me? If I buy a cat from her... They're only ten? I'm buying beans. What should we name beans? <laughs> um... Don't know. Aww. I don't know what to name beans. We'll just stick with beans then. No, we'll do human names. Let's do Brian. I feel like it should automatically bring up the people that you're trying to click on, but it didn't. Um, she likes milk, so I guess I could start giving her milk. I can only give her one gift a day. Okay, that's fair. Come on, Brian, let's go. Now I did it one a couple times where I was able to just latch right onto the fish, but I don't know how to consistently do that. I do need more of the river fish, so we're gonna try and catch them. Yeah, like I need more river trout and I need more salmon and pike I haven't even caught a salmon yet I don't even know where like a good spot for them would be what am I supposed to do with all these dandelions now because like I have hella and it wouldn't let me sell them but now I don't like need it because I have the clock. Oh, I have mail. From John Bowes. I must admit I'm a bit shy about this subject as it's very sensitive. I'm basically just wanting to get it off my chest. Difficult to express. I think I'm in love with Lucy Arrows. I know she doesn't have any interest in me though. I am but a lowly woodsman at heart so I am at a quandary of what to do about it. I hope you don't mind me writing. Please keep it to yourself. Okay. <laughs> Scandalous. Love that. I don't know what happened. Ooh, a checkered chub. What happens, like, the next time I level up? my my fishing rod hmm. oh did I water my plants I did apparently Grab some honey. What's her face likes milk, so I feel like I should get her some milk. It's already full of honey. Hmm. 